Now you're probably gonna have a hard time hearing me, but we lost the power a couple hours ago and I just found out that electrical pole is down in the river, not too far, broken in half, so it'll probably be a while before they'll restore the power. So this is the redneck setup I rigged up almost 10 years ago and never really upgraded it. This is an old 8,000 watt generator, nothing fancy, Home Depot. I had the cord for something else and I basically just, I had a three-way that I cut off the end and spiced it up. Let me show you through all this mess. Yes, <laughs> as redding as could be. And an old uh, uh, dryer cord. I literally did it in the middle of the snowstorm. I didn't have, I, I rigged up from what I had and it's been working, so why fuck with it? So through there, you, since it's a 50, uh, 50 amp breaker, you pretty much back feed uh, the entire house. You have to make sure before you do anything that Sorry about the light. Before you do anything else, you have to do one major thing. You take the main breaker and you turn it off. Now, this is not 100% legal, to be honest. So you do it at your own responsibility. As long as you turn the main breaker off, you're good. But if you forget that, then you you might actually kill somebody. So let me go back here. So through here, I pretty much backfit the entire house. Uh, it'll run pretty much everything but the AC. The central air won't run. But my uh, electric uh, stove, all that will run uh, pretty much no problem. Obviously, washer, dryer stuff you're not using. But uh, you change all your light bulbs to LEDs, that makes a big difference. And uh, yeah, we got no power, but we have our own power. That's it.